Okay, so let's get into then some of the actual uh, teaching, and I think this will, um, you know, start to help you if you've had some some specific questions. And really, there's there's four specific uh, practices that I'm going to help you with in this webinar. And the first one is to um, make sure that your subject is um, a clear doer or actor in the story. And you know, we learned this in school, or it's basic sort of you know English grammar sentence structure that. A subject um, of an, a sentence must be a person, a place, or an object. And uh, what we see in those two sentences is, is two different examples of that. The first one was um, it puts the, 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 the subject of the sentence as a person. So they're writing about uh, Locke, um, who is obviously an English literature um, expert, and they say that Locke frequently repeated himself because he did not trust the power of words, etc. So Locke is the subject. And um, you can see that in the first sentence, it's a clear doer or actor in the story. And as I said, you are always telling a story in what you're doing and in what you're writing. And once again, just make sure that the subjects, and remember, the subject does the action in the sentence. So when you are writing, and as I said earlier, you need to be your own editor, have a look at what is the subject of my sentence and how am I making this as clear as possible? Because if you use an abstract subject, like in that second sentence there, which the second sentence says exactly the same thing as the first sentence, but it's a lot more convoluted and it's a lot more complex. And if you try and write like that, as to the comment that was just made from one of the people in the webinar, you're going to be looking for more words than you need to. So why make your life hard? Keep your subjects as simple and as practical as possible. Um, you will convey the same meaning, but you'll use less words and your writing will be clearer and it'll have a greater degree um, of clarity in it. So that's